Hello, my name is Matt Nolf. I'm with PNG Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of custom design kits for propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we're going to be showing you the Pulsar, the 12,000 watt. Now this is a dual fuel unit already. It's propane and gasoline. Um, we get a lot of calls on the natural gas, so we're going to show you the natural gas design and then we'll also show you the setup for the propane side because if this regulator that they supply you ever fails, we've tried to find them. We can't locate them. I don't know if they'll ever be available. I'm sure someday that they will have them, but uh, as of now, you can't get them. So the system's kind of no good if you if this goes bad on you. But um, they're uh, still a decent regulator. Um, I know they last a long time. So, but uh, we'll go ahead and show you the custom kit design for this. Okay, now our first step we're going to do is normally we put an adapter between the air cleaner and the gasoline carburetor, okay? So this one here is so tight up against the frame that we can't do this. And this being a dual fuel model, we're just going to go right to where they connect it, their hose here. Um, that way we can eject the um, natural gas or propane into that hose also. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the hose clamp here. This is an 8 millimeter. Go ahead and get this loose. All right. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and remove it from the regulator, the hose off the regulator here. Okay, and we'll just kind of lay this to the side a little bit. Now, obviously, we don't want to keep this open hole in here because if you ever want to use this back again, um, you know, why not try to save it? So in the kit, we'll supply you a cap to go over that. Keep any bees or bugs or dust getting in there. And then we'll supply you a hose clamp also. Just go ahead and put that on there. You don't got to overkill it on there. There you go. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and, this, they got a little sleeve protector here. We'll go ahead and pull that back from the hose that they have on there. Just to kind of get it out of our way. And we have to remove the clamp up here. There's a clamp back here. So you don't have to remove any of this. Now it depends on which position they have that clamp in. You might have to take this off to get to it. But this one here is up top for me so and it look it's a fill up one two also it looks like and also a straight screwdriver go ahead loosen that up pull their hose off and we'll go ahead and show you the next steps all right now that we have their hose removed we'll supply you the red hose here i reused their sleeve and reuse their clamp okay so all we're going to do is take the new hose Slide it off where we took it. You just got to push her on there again. Alrighty, and then we'll go ahead and get our clamp, or their clamp, sorry, back on there. Loosen it up a little bit more. Get her to slide down there. There we go. All right. And again, you can kind of pull your choke out of the way there. Um, kind of tighten it where you got it up in that upper position. And we'll get that there. Good. There we go. Slide their sleeve back up there. Kind of just a protection from the heat from the engine. Alrighty, that's that step. We'll go ahead and show you the next ones. Okay, now what we're going to do is show you the steps of mounting the regulator assembly here, okay? What we're going to do is come over from, we're going to mount the regulator up in this position here, okay? That gives us real good clearance for if you got a roll pole. Um, you know, if the battery ever dies on it, you can use it. So what we're going to do is come, we're going in the center, we're going to drill in the center of this. This is a kind of a square bar. 
Um, we'll go ahead and mark over four inches, okay? Make our mark. From this four inches over, we're gonna come over and make a mark at five and three quarters of an inch. That will give us our center to center for mounting our regulator. Now what I do is I got a little punch here just so the drill bit doesn't wobble on you. And we'll go ahead and drill that and show you the next step on it. All right, now that we've got our holes all marked out, we'll go ahead and drill them out. Now be careful, your gas tank is back there. If you're unsecure about going through this without puncturing it, just get you a block of wood or a piece of metal or something to stick up back there. We'll go ahead and get these up, drilling them out five, six feet. All right, and then you went through the first, now the back side. That's where you got to be careful. show you the next step all right now that we have our holes drilled we'll go ahead and get our regulator assembly set up now this will all come pre-assembled for you so you won't have to um, tighten anything up on here now this quick connect mail side will not come with the kit unless you purchase our natural gas hose separately but it will come with the ball valve here so you'll get all that section and then if you have your own um, just make sure um, these quick connects that we use are open orifice for natural gas. They're designed for running a combustionable engine. It's not set up for a grill or a furnace. Um, those restrict the fuel, and you'll have problems with it running. So we'll go ahead and get this mounted up there. And again, the hardware will all come with it. I can get this out of the way for a second. And we'll get this back. Get the flat washer on there. Lock washer and a nut. Alrighty. Alright, there's that side. And again, flat washer, lock washer, nut. This this is a nice unit. I really like this pulsar. I've did a lot of units, and this is pretty good unit here that I have seen with it so far of, of the quality of the of the unit. Tighten that down, and we'll go ahead and get our hose hooked up to our outlet of our regulator. Just push that on there, and tighten that down, and, and this kit is as easy as that. I mean, it is a simple setup. So there's the steps on that side. All right, now that we've got everything assembled, again, like I say, the only way you'll get this mail quick connect it'll come with the hose uh, assembly if you purchase that from us again these are open orifice and designed for running combustionable engines uh, we'll go ahead and get this hooked up here pop that on we'll turn our natural gas on and we'll kind of lock these down a little bit in shipping but every unit's a little bit different that's why there's an adjustment on it okay so we go ahead and get our fuel on here. We'll turn our uh, shutoff valve on. On the back of this unit is a manual primer button. We'll go ahead and hit that. And, and you can keep it feathering. If you keep putting a, pressing a primer button after it stalls, you can feather it to get where you can adjust this. So let's try it again. set up the propane next okay now that we've shown you the natural gas um, if you buy the propane kit the tri-fuel kit from us you'll get the regulator the hose and we'll send you the bushing 
and the flare to go into this unit here on the ball valve. So we'll go ahead and remove our nipple here for the natural gas. Set that to the side. And you want to use some compound on this. I don't recommend tape. I recommend liquid because tape will tear off and get inside of your uh, jets in there and it'll restrict the uh, fuel flow. So we'll go ahead and get this put in there. And you're only dealing with six ounces of pressure here, so you don't have to overkill it. And then we will get our propane line hooked up. We already have it hooked up to the tank. We'll get this set here. And the adjustment here when we do the propane will be very close to the natural gas. We should be able to get it to fire. We might have a little bit of adjustment from there. So I'm going to loosen this back up again and get me set for this one just in case. Let's turn our propane on. And again, your primer button's on the back. Turn your fuel on. Hit the button. show you the next all right that shows you the steps of doing the natural gas and then also the propane and that's just in case this ever fails um, like I said they got a pretty good system I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the pulsar um, like I said I did a few of them and uh, this was pretty good quality so um, again this is a custom kit designed for this unit this unit only um, if you're interested in purchasing this kit from us, uh, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we could be reached at 734-992-2648. I want to thank you very much for watching this video and uh, I want you all to have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.